I just think we should define what is architecture. Even with my degree in architecture, I think this is a really hard question, right? And when people ask you, why do you want to study architecture? That's an even harder question. Defining architecture is really hard. It is somewhat philosophical in some regards. It's a historical question. When did architecture start? There's just so many components in architecture. Just trying to find a condensed definition of architecture is a hard task. So Britannica defines architecture as the art and technique of designing a building as distinguished from the skills associated with construction. It serves both utilitarian and aesthetic ends, and these ends are dependent on each other. Architecture at least to me and how I interpret it. Architecture in its basic form are structures that are used to create spatial relationships with the environment while communicating its functionality for its occupants through its form. So for instance, if you're looking at an ancient Egyptian tomb, it is wildly expressive, very distinguishable with its relationship to nature and the site, but the building itself communicates its functionality defined by its form. So think of the pyramids of Giza, the tomb inside. Its functionality defined by the form is only to house the dead, the mummified individual that is living inside the tomb. For us to walk around that tomb, it doesn't seem practical. It's very confined. It is not practical for living occupants to live there because the form of that tomb defined the function. So in other words, the tomb's utility was just to house the dead. The reason why architecture is also so interesting and cool is that architecture is very permanent and it is defined only by architects. Therefore, the architects really shape and develop societies, cultures, and their the world ultimately, our built environment where we all live. The built environment connects us all to parts of human history and I think that is why people travel. People visit really cool ancient sites because it is a part of our human history that connects us all and that is only achieved through architecture. This is a history that we all share and because architecture is so permanent we are able to really experience generations, centuries, and different kind of era stylistic changes in architecture. So anyway that is my definition of architecture. Next week I'll be talking about the classical orders in architecture and and I hope to see you there. Until next time, love you guys.